Hello, I'm Ramon Martinez from La Raza Historical Society. San Jose King Library at the exhibit by Mary Andrade called Solidarity Hispanic Senior Citizens. This is a project she did some years ago where she photographed senior citizens from all walks of life in our region. People who are major uh, stars, luminaries such as Cesar Chavez's mother, uh, barbers and barber shops, uh, cooks, uh, people working in vegetable gardens around the city, uh, veterans of the Mexican Revolution, and people from the Chicano movement. So come and learn more about the exhibit, and it's going to be here until September 14, brought to you by the San Jose Public Library System and San Jose State University. Thank you. This is a picture of Virginia Mora, who is the mother of Marce Mora. And Marce Mora was a member of the founding board of the Mexican Heritage Plaza, among many other activities. She also wrote in an eccentrical magazine for many, many years. Uh, they had a women's equestrian group called Las Coronelas that would appear in all kinds of events and all the Cinco de Mayo and September 16th uh, events. I once talked to Marcy about the, the women's group and she said, well, in those days, we were not very radical. We were just nice Mexican girls. I said to her, Marcy, what's so traditional and quiet about women with whips? Hello, my name is Carl Soltero. I'm a member of the La Raza Historical Society here in the Santa Clara Valley. We are here at the Martin Luther King Library on the second floor. We're looking at a photo exhibit that uh, has a lot of historical impact in the valley. We're looking at the exhibit of Mary Andrade, who was the editor, and still is, I think, of, uh, uh, of La Oferta magazine. We encourage you to come out to look at the exhibit, and please note that the exhibit will be on the second floor until September the 14th. So please come out, and I think you would enjoy it, and please bring the young people. They need to learn more of their history. Thank you. Solidarity, Hispanic senior citizens. The photographer is Mary J. Andrade, pictured at left. She's an author, a photographer, and a co-publisher of La Oferta Latino Bilingual Newspaper, which she founded in 1978 with her husband, Frank. Mary's journalism and service to the Mexican-American community at Santa Clara Valley has garnered official recommendation from the Office of the Mayor of San Jose, the San Jose City Council, the California State Assembly, and Santa Clara County Supervisor, Blanca Alvarado. She has also written extensively on Mexican cultural traditions, in particular, Day of the Dead. Here we have Senora Juana Chavez. She is or was, I should say, I'm sorry, the mother of Cesar Chavez and her other children, Richard, Librado, Rita, and Teresa, I think. Instilled in her children growing up in Yuma, Arizona to uh, take other people's needs into account when you lived your life. She was a very firm believer in St. Francis of Assisi, so she passed on these values to her children, particularly Cesar and Richard and, and Rita, who became very involved in San Jose in the early 50s in an organization called the Community Service Organization, which advocated for political and social and economic empowerment for Raza. His sister Rita continued working for the CSO for many years, doing voter registration and citizenship drives. As a result of her activism, uh, right-wing elements referred to her as a communist and would harass her for a number of years. Uh, so she contributed very much to making San Jose welcoming to Raza during that time. Uh, I also went to school with her grandchildren. I also went to high school with her grandchildren, Caesar's sons, Fernando, Paul, and the daughters Sylvia, Eloise, and Linda, who were very involved in the farm worker strike at San Jose at Delano High School in the late 60s. As a result, they experienced a lot of harassment and their lives were not pleasant very often but they were always there involved in the union. Senora Chavez instilled, as I said earlier, a sense of helping society, helping her people that needed help. And these values were passed on to Caesar, which led to his wanting to form the United Farm Workers Union. 
Here's a photograph of Richard Diaz, el fotógrafo de las estrellas, the photographer of the stars. Beginning in about 1956-57, he met Humberto Garcia II, who was the publisher of El Excentrico magazine. And so he started taking photographs for El Excentrico. Later on, Richard went on to be the photographer everyone would call for. Pictures of weddings, baptisms, coronations, and big family gatherings. One of the interesting stories about Richard is that there were some young musicians living around the corner from him. He basically lived near McLaughlin and Story Road. And these youngsters were Los Tigres del Norte. A couple were still in high school and Richard and his wife had stepchildren, so they would get together uh, at his home. And so there are several photographs of them in his home where he had walls covered with pictures.